Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to list all my team members in an Excel sheet. Uh, so I have my uh, flow.microsoft.com website on it. So we just directly click on flow.microsoft.com and then that should take you to this website and that's where we are going to list our team members. So let's go ahead and click on the create new flow here. So just click on new flow. Once I clicked on it, then I have multiple type of flows I can create it. What I'm going to create is an instant flow, which I have to trigger it manually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name the flow first of all. So let's, let's say suppose list team members in Excel. And once I do this, then I will create a manually trigger. Uh, I have to choose a trigger. So I will create a manually trigger a flow trigger so that I will be able to create it when as and when required. So that's a trigger ready right now. So it's an empty flow. So I'm going to first choose a team so that I will list out all the students, sorry, all the members of them. So I'm going to click on the new step to choose, of, choose any Office 365 group. Uh, in a uh, way, I would like to again uh, mention that uh, every team creates, every team which you are mentioning in your MS team creates an Office 365 group. In fact, that's now called as Microsoft 365. So it's a Microsoft 365 group. So we are going to use something called Microsoft 365 group. Microsoft 365 group. Here it is. So I click on that so that I will be able to list all of my group members. So there are a lot of actions you can do on it. What I can do is I wanted a list group members. So click on the list group members and then pick a team. In fact, pick a group ID. So I have multiple teams over here. What I'm going to do is I have a team over here, Microsoft Teams. Here I have a team called MA1408 section C. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to see what's happening here. So in my manage team, if I see there are three teachers and there are 68 students out of this in this team. So I'm going to list everybody in an Excel sheet. That's what we are going to do right now. So why don't I choose MA1408 section C here. So this is it. So click on the MA1408 section C. Before I do anything further, what I'm doing is I'm going to create a compose button and check what is coming out of this list of group members. Let me create a compose action. Let's just write a compose action and then click on compose and put all the values which are coming up from this list of group members. Let me click on it and in the uh, di dynamic content dialog box, I can click on value. So I click on value and then save the flow. Let me test the flow and check what's coming out of this. Then later we will discuss how do I store all this like store all these details in an excel file so i click on test flow and i of course if you have already signed in then it's fine otherwise you go ahead and sign in with your uh, institute email id and then click continue and then run flow and click on done to run it so now that would take a second to run all of them if i click on compose right now then i must see all the data which has been inputted in from this uh, step. So from this step, the data which has been input input in this data and format, you can see that uh, there is a display name, there is a given name, there is a mail, which is the email ID, and then there is a preferred language, there is a surname, there is an usual user principal name for everybody. So this is one person's data which is coming out of that list group numbers. So that's what we wanted. So what we are going to do is we are going to collect the name of the student, which is uh, given name and then surname. And also what we are going to do is we are going to collect the mail IDs of the students. So this is the mail IDs of the students. So this is what we are going to do it. So the way I'm going to do is I'm going to add an online Excel version of it. Uh, then later I'm going to create the table and then I'm going to add a name column and then email column and I'm going to combine all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, square box over here in the corner and then I'm going to click on this Excel button. In fact, I would like to click on uh, open in new tab. So right click on it and open in new tab. 
So that opens me in the new tab. If you have already signed in with your Office 365 account, then there it should directly take you here. Otherwise, it will ask you to sign. So it has already taken me here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a new blank worksheet. So let me click on a new blank worksheet. And the first thing which I will do is I will rename the worksheet first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this worksheet as my sorry go to click on here and click my students of course ma1408 that's my subject code thank you just rename this website and the thing which i'm going to do here is i'm going to have one column called name and i'm going to one have one column called email okay then the th after that what you have to do is microsoft flow can add any data inside a table not in the random sheet so what we have to do, we have to make it as a table. So how do I make it as a table? Just select these two and then go to insert and select this table. So that will give you a table dialog box and then click on my table has headers, that's all. So that's all we have to do. It. So once you do this, then keep that in mind. You should always know that what is the name of this table. How do I know usually? Uh, online Excel sheet does not have a proper way to know what is the table name but what I usually do is I just click on the pivot table by selecting this table once I click on the pivot table then I will come to know what table right now I am with so I am with uh, table 1 so just remember all of them that's all so my Excel sheet name is my students one four my students MA1408 in that I have a table called table 1 so that's all I needed and I'm going, I have a column called name and I have a column called email. So the setup is I think much simple. It's just creating a new Excel sheet with a table. Now I'm going back to my flow.microsoft.com in that tab. Now I have the compose already open here. So what I'm going to do here is if I just key, look on it, look in at it, uh, the input value from this list group members is list of all members of the group. That's all actually we have. So there are a lot of people over here. So for everybody in this, we're going to collect their given name and then uh, their surname and of course the maid ID and then create a name column as well as the email column. So that's what we are going to do. So for that, let's click on the edit button and let's create a new step. So first of all, what we are going to do is, so we're going to apply uh, for each action. So it's an apply for each action let me check did i type it properly so apply for each did i type it wrongly so just click on apply apply to each i'm sorry so it should be applied to each so click on apply to each which means what's going to happen here is whatever the list is coming out of it it's going to apply for everybody uh, so let's select the value here select the value here so once we have done it so every single person has been now here is there now add an action for it so for everybody in the group member so what we are going to do is we're going to create an excel connector which is an if you just type excel uh, connection then you can just go into the excel online business or excel online one right both should work for you so let me go ahead and click on Excel online business. Then there is an action called add a row into a table. So that's what we needed, right? So let's click on add a row into a table. So by clicking on it, then it should ask you to choose the Excel file as well as the table name. So let's go ahead and click on the location as uh, OneDrive for business. So that's what we have. Every Office 365 plan which comes with OneDrive for business usually and then document library and the document library is under my personal OneDrive so it is under my OneDrive and after that what is the file name so the file name was which we have just given is my students MA1408 that's what it is so let me search for that file name here uh, it is under MY yeah this is it is so my students MA1408 dot Excel if you are not able to see this file name for any reason so what you do, you go ahead and uh, delete this step right now and then save the flow, refresh it 
and then try again. So sometimes the file would have not been refreshed because you might have created it just now. So just click on the My Students in 1408. Then it should automatically list the table number tables which are available right now. We have created only one table that is in the name of table one. So click on table one. That should populate all the uh, all the columns which you have created. So the columns which you have created in this is just name and email. So that's what appearing over here. So what we wanted to put put it inside the column of name. So what we wanted to put it inside the column of name is we wanted to put a given name which is the first name user's first name so click on the given name in the dynamic content and there is a space I wanted and I also wanted to put a surname of it right so the surname is user's last name so that's all so this is a given name and then surname which is the first name and then a space and then last name so however you want you can just add it and then later I wanted to add an email of the students so I want to add an email. So that is under user's email address. So let me click on the mail box. So that's all I wanted. So this is right now ready. Now what I can do, I can save this flow and I can even try go back and then run it. But why don't I just click on the test and run it. So let's click on the test and I'll perform the trigger on my own. And it might ask you to sign in for both the accounts right now. I have another connector called Excel online instead of just Microsoft 365 groups. So go ahead and sign in for that as well. Then like finally click on continue, run flow and then done. So that must start adding your list of members one by one into the my students uh, one MA1408. Now you can see so that status is started adding. So one by one it is adding the name and the email address so that's what it's doing so it is until the calculation mode is on which means that the students have been keep on keeping adding it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass a moment and then i'm going to revert back to you once it is done so here it is it has added all of my uh, students uh, in fact all of my group members name as well as the email id so i can just uh, drag it to this side and then drag it to this side and see what's happening so that includes all the teachers as well as the students name you can filter your all the students and then teachers accordingly and then use it for your any of the other processes so if you go ahead and see this run uh, flow then it would have been shown that your flow ran successfully uh, i think that's all for today so i hope this video helps you a lot to select take your users take your group members and put it in a microsoft excel online sheet thanks a lot for watching I will see you in the next video. Thank you.